Like we have guys right now that are watching you that are looking to put down 50, 80 million dollars. Like they're no joke. They, they are whales and they've been watching for the past three months. Maybe you're compounding a $1 million account and then I don't know where you get a call from me saying, hey, we're gonna add 10 million to your balance. It can jump overnight just like that. But just for now, we, we kind of want to follow a schedule where in our first contract, it said that I think it was every six months, we add $2 million to your balance from us. Ah, I can't believe that was only eight months ago. A lot has happened since then. I passed two more challenges publicly on YouTube in challenge documentaries, adding 600K to my already growing prop capital. Not bad. Oh. And I had an amazing summer on Koh Samui with the family. Eventually it was all over the place. I had so much fun and I came back to the office fresh with a new energy. I guess it was the 10. I made a payout and another one and another one. At a certain point it was hard to keep track. Known traders started stealing my payouts claiming them for themselves. Not cool. But if anything that made my case even stronger. Boom, FTMO all-time record holder. Now we've reached a new milestone together. Today, I'm the first Forex trader to receive $2 million in prop capital, actual real capital without taking a challenge. So my investors from Vision Star Trades trusted me with another $1 million of capital. Remember how I took a demanding four-phase challenge to get that first million? Well, it paid off. Because since I received that first million, that was on the 3rd of August 2022, till today, I've made more than $120,000 in payouts from my VST account alone. That's roughly 12% of profits in six months only. Actually, it was exactly $137,000, but I had to pay 15k in swaps alone. So Samuel was like, burnt, that's amazing, you're killing it. Here's another million, sent, received, just like that. But in all seriousness, guys, there's so much going on behind the scenes. Don't forget that I'm still the CEO of Online Trading Campus and it takes time and dedication to be there for the students, the team members, the other mentors, and to my YouTube community as well. And of course, my two hours of training, I never miss a day of training. Point is, with all these moving parts, there's no way I could be consistently profitable unless I've got a foolproof trading strategy and a strong mentality to apply it. So, what are the most important KPIs in the past six months? 32 trades taken. Average trade length, 22 days. Best trade, roughly $20,000 or 3,541 pips. Worst trade, roughly $47 or minus 0.1 pips. Highest drawdown, 2.77%, 12.66% gain by taking 1% risk per trade only and 100% win rate. Yes, correct. I still haven't experienced any meaningful losses, only a few break-even trades and that's the most important part. To review the first three months, I've created a video for that purpose. Feel free to watch it here. The best of all, my account is MT5 MyFX book verified because at the end of the day, how did I become one of the best prop traders out there? I win consistently because I'm the best at playing defense, which is money and risk management and the best at playing offense, which is making more than I risk and scaling up my trading business. In other words, raising capital. You can't win the Premier League or any league by playing offense only and getting your net ripped on derbies. I guarantee you'll never win the title. Same thing if you only have a pretty solid defense or an airtight risk management strategy, but never win significantly more than you risk. And I want to talk about each one of these scenarios. Let's start with the defenders. Look guys, I talk about this all the time. You can't be profitable in trading if you're not a risk taker. Although we take only calculated risks, 
manage risk. People who are defenders by nature avoid risk. There's a huge difference here. Defenders also like being in control. They feel like if they leave the trade alone for a day, it will lose its way. So a lot of the scalpers and day traders are considered defenders. One of the main reasons they find it hard to maintain capital is that although possible to pass the challenge with day trading or even scalping, it's near impossible to maintain consistent payouts with these trading strategies. Taking risk and managing risk properly matters because trading is investing and if you can't keep and grow your capital, why are you in the trading business anyway? Let's get back to that Premier League analogy. Among all winners of the Premier League title in the past 10 years, do you know who had the weakest offense? Can you take a guess? It's the only team who had never won it before, nor was ever forecasted to win it in the first place. Leicester City, an anomaly. Just a hardworking team beating the odds. They defied odds of 5,000 to 1 at the start of the season to win the title for the first time in the club's 132 year history. That's less than 0.02%. Just for comparison, Manchester City enters each season with a 66% chance of winning the title before doing anything. Let's move to the attackers. And to be honest, I didn't even know this type existed until recently. I need your focus now because this is both genius and evil at the same time. These guys use a strategy called account flipping. So they start with let's say $5,000. They go full on attack mode, buying a whopping 10 100k challenges at the same time preferably across different firms so their manipulation is harder to be discovered. They would then proceed to take on each and every one of these challenges separately from the other. Meaning they don't copy their trades across accounts. Because let's face it, they don't even know which of the 10 strategies is going to work. In fact, the only strategy left in their pocket is to open both long and short trades simultaneously on any random instrument and this will guarantee them anywhere between 20 to 30% success rate. By the way, if you're thinking right now this trick should be working 50% of the time because there are only two directions, long and short, well not necessarily because both stop losses could be hit before reaching any profit target. And taking any trade in a challenge without stop loss is just flat out stupid because your exposure is full daily drawdown per trade. Congratulations, you're just about to risk your entire challenge on one single trade. Don't forget, max daily drawdown is usually 4 to 5% and the profit required is anywhere between 8 and 10%. Others could be using the same strategy to hedge their positions. For instance, go long on the higher time frame and short on the lower time frame at the same time. Anyway, they find themselves with maybe two or three accounts that have passed the verification stage and they get funded 200 or 300k. Now what? They start exploiting these accounts to force out one single payout, just for reference. And I already told you that before. If I'm trading a $100,000 account, my exposure would be $1,000 per trade. That's one R. These guys don't do that. They risk five Rs per trade, or in other words, they risk the entire daily drawdown limit for one single trade. So they want to risk $5,000 to make $10,000, $20,000 only once so they could get a payout, hit or miss. This may work once or even twice, but it's definitely not a consistent way of profiting from trading. It's borderline cheating and finding a loophole in the system. Anyway, now it's payday and now they've successfully doubled or quadrupled their money. Same exact concept could be used in winning a very specific type of top tier trading championships. The ones that allow traders to have multiple accounts inside the championship. Seems like a strange rule, right? I've never seen a club compete in the same league with two teams before. 
But what do I know? If you want to call this uh, whole thing traders playing the odds, that would be an understatement. I call it chaos theory. At the end of the day, this group of traders don't apply even the most basic concept of risk management. Remember how we said you can't win the title with a weak offense? Well, the same exact thing with defense. No defense, no title. And the only team that won the Premier League title in the past 10 years with a weak defense? None other than the very same Leicester City in the very same 2015 season. Anomaly. So if you see one of those traders bargaining with their 20 or 40k payout, you should only think of this one word. Anomaly. That's the antonym of consistency. And finally, the real deal. The total traders. Those who understand the balance between offense and defense. Those who are consistent in their results. Those who are always showing up on the top of the prop firm's leaderboards. You'll hardly find them on YouTube or Twitter. Trust me, I'm just a rare find. I've been teaching you total trading right here on this channel for the past year. And I believe I'm finally getting the word out there that this is true. It's doable. Just like Johann Cruyff believed if his team could be the best at offense and defense at the same time, it will be unbeatable. It'll be able to control every outcome of the game, not only 90 minutes of the engagement, but it extended to far beyond that. And he proved it could be done. Years go by and his student Pep does the same exact thing and gets the same consistent results using Groif methods. Okay, we heard all about total football. Now, what's my secret? How am I the best at both offense and defense at the same time? Well, it starts really simple. First off, don't be greedy. Simple, right? I control the greed by taking a fixed dollar risk per trade. I risk 10k per trade, that's my standard. That's 1% of my 1 million dollar account. And now it's 20k since my account grew to 2 million dollars. By the way, I talked in detail about my fixed dollar risk model in a previous video. Link is somewhere up here. So if we look back, I had a million dollar account. I risked 10k fixed, 1% per trade, I made 120k in 6 months. So I earned 12R and I forecast I will end the year making between 18 to 24Rs, which means I earn roughly 20% yearly on each and every account that I have. And I remember teaching you how to do the same thing in a previous video as well here. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> Remember, those guys who are really good at offense, but they are just playing the odds. Well, who would you rather have as a mentor? Someone who has to be a consistent earner and a role model for his students and viewers. He has to compete every day at the highest level. Someone who is completely and 100% doxxed, verified and has a public track record with some of the largest prop firms in the industry. And on the other side of the field, someone who is greed driven, forcing a couple of payouts to defraud viewers into thinking he has an actual edge in trading. Or this other guy who lost millions and millions and millions more in trading, but he made all back when he started selling his mentorship. I can't comment by anything other than they lost their way. And you guys, right now, you need to look out. The prop space is getting over flooded with these traders from that group. And look guys, I don't like saying shit about people. <laughs> no. Okay, I sometimes say shit about people, but you need to do your research on some of these established traders. Some of them are flat out scammers. I've said my piece now. The choice is all yours. 
I'm really doing my best here to educate you guys the best way I could. And these kinds of videos are important because come on, of course it matters how you make your money. Of course it matters where you get your trading advice. A misleading advice or failed strategy is like bad bugs. Good luck getting that out once settled in your mind. And if you make your money trading multiple accounts against each other, trust me, I don't want to hear your trading advice. Right now, on the left side, traders making more money from mentorship than their own trading. On the right side, account flipping. And every day, it's just one horrible practice after each other. Let's just try to make this place a bit better, okay? Thank you. Happy and safe total trading.